the one to one which is pretty cool now let's learn the one to many I think I had this uncommented before but anyway the first thing that we got to do is just create a route all right because we want the user that when they visit a certain URL we they get certain information right so they're gonna visit posts and they're gonna get all the posts available for that specific user so we have to first find the user of course find the user with ID number one because that's the only user we got and we want all the posts for that user but let's just do it like this this is very similar to the one-to-one -one relationship I'll show you right now actually this is the user once we have the user object then we can do other things with it make sure that you have the user model added on top okay right here you see that beautiful let's just keep going down we wrote a lot of code already right but we still got some more to go so anyway I just wanted to make sure but well, we already did this here another thing that I want you to understand is that when you are returning something out of the method like we're doing right now sometimes you're gonna get multiple value you not you will not be able to get multiple uh, results in some cases because remember that the return keyword only returns one specific value okay so we will not be able to return let's say for example if I want to return all the users posts right now I won't be able to do that unless I use something else because return only returns one uh, value back right anyway so we got the user now all we got to do here is create a for each loop to pull this information but we're forgetting something right I want you to guess what we're forgetting but right now we're gonna get the user and we're gonna say I want to pull out all your posts and make it as posts now we don't have this yet right we have we created one for the post right if you go to post for the for, I mean for the user we got it, this one here but we haven't created the, the other one with the S all right remember that we have the one-to-one -one relationship right here and we using we're returning the users right here this is the one we created but now Laravel has a funny way of doing this and it makes it really simple for us it, re, it makes the methods as properties so we can access that method as a property so it's pretty cool you notice that this is weird we're not doing something like this there okay all right but that's how it is so now let's go back to the model the user model actually and let's create the function and we can name it whatever we want remember that okay sometimes I repeat myself a lot and that's because I wanted want this information to be there for you some of you might forget in a couple more lectures some of you never forget but I want to be sure that you don't forget so this has many is the new method that we're going to be using to do the one to many and now we define the space the uh, namespace just like we did here okay so let's go back to routes and let's check it out we find the user with ID number one and then we return all the users posts we want to return all the, po the post titles for every post that user has okay and now I think I already did it but I want you to do it actually no I only have one let's create another row here so let's insert another post with a user ID number one PHP uh, with Laravel oops content there we go and everything else should be the same that's fine so now we can pull two guys out right we can pull two posts all right so let's see how this looks first of all let's put let's make this an echo because we can actually return more than one value like I said before 
So let's do a VR tag right here. Okay, let's check it out. There we go. As you can see, we are returning two titles because we have two posts with a user ID with the same user ID. If I want to return this, I'm saying we are echoing something out. That's what I meant to say, not returning. But if I do that, I only return one title. See that? So make sure that you're doing echo. All right. So now we know how to deal with one too many relationship. Let's make a comment here. One too many relationship. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you so much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure. On the next lecture, we'll continue with the relationship and um, we'll keep enjoying this course, right? Take care and see you in the next lecture.